I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with a fall book haul. So when I'm filming this video, it's actually towards the end of October. And so I haven't done a book haul since I think the end of August. So I definitely have a lot of books that have piled up in the last almost two months. So I wanted to go through them before I can shelve them. So I basically do book hauls like two every season. So this is part one of the fall book haul. Of course, there'll be one later in the fall as well. So yeah, let's just jump into it. I think I have about 60 plus books to haul. Definitely a ton. A ton of them are book box editions, special editions. Uh, let's see, I'm looking over here. <laughs> books that I picked up that I loved, ones I was sent from authors, some gifts, just all of the things. So usually I start with special editions, but this time those are buried under the rest. But we'll just start with like the regular book mail, like books I was sent and all of that that aren't special editions, and we'll do the special editions last. So we'll just start with a stack at a time. So first up, I have Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone. This is one of my favorite reads of the year. I love this series so, so much. This is technically a book one, but there is a prequel that definitely helps adds to the story. So read that first and then jump into this one. But I love this. This is my new favorite Sierra Simone series. I'm just having a great time with it and can't wait for the next book. Basically this is a Tristan Isolde retelling and it's MFM. I can't remember if she said it's going to be MMF eventually. Basically we have three people that are going to be part of this throuple and one of them is a bodyguard. Two of the people are in an arranged betrothal and I'm just obsessed. Like all of the beautiful writing and the spice and everything that Sierra Simone delivers on. I think this is her best yet and I'm just having a great time with it. So next up these Katie Roberts, I went to a used bookstore recently and found these three there. So these are all part of her Wicked Villain series, which is like a fairy tale kind of like Disney inspired retellings where of course the villains are involved and they're just like a steamy smutty time that I've heard great things about. I need to continue on in the series because I've only read the first book. So let's go through here. So first up was Desperate Measures and this one was actually signed, which was fun to find at a used bookstore. So grab that one. Then there's also The Beast. I believe this one is MMF with The Beast, Gaston, and Belle. Then we have Queen Takes Rose, part of the series again. And this one I believe Sleeping Beauty inspired. I know that one of the characters' names is Aurora. I can't remember if this is a sapphic romance or not. Either way, excited to find all three of these at a used bookstore. Except I had pre-ordered Don't Forget Me Tomorrow by A.L. Jackson. This is the second book of her Time River series. And I am just obsessed with this series, obsessed with this cover. It's so, so good. I love a tattooed hero. This one just came out in October and I loved it so, so much. Basically in here we have Brother's Best Friend. We have a single mom heroine. We have Hero who feels like he's too damaged, too broken to be with the heroine. We give a lot of protectiveness vibes as well. A little bit of romantic suspense. It's small town. It's just so good. I ate this book up. Next up is Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. I actually read this novella last year, but I didn't have a copy of it and saw that some physical copies were available, so I had to grab it. It's like a novella. It's super short. Basically in here it is a witch heroine and she is plus size. She's tall. She's like six foot. The hero is a vampire hero and it is them two. It's rivals turned lovers like basically they own bars across the street from one another and it is just so good like a Halloween hookup turned to a more of course had a great time with this one so I wanted a physical copy because I'm just obsessed with the colors and the cover of this one next up I was sent beneath the ice by Ellie Cotton so the author sent me this one it is an arc copy and I believe it's pretty close to finish like it has all the formatting and all of that on the inside I just love this hockey romance series so I'm excited to have this one and basically this one is a relationship in trouble situation so it is the hero and the heroine and they're already together when the story starts and they have to work through some things that go wrong. So yeah, definitely enjoyed this one. Next up is Glove Save by Tegan Hunter. This is part of her Carolina Comets series, which is of course a hockey romance series. I had a great time with the whole series, but this one is one of my favorites. So I had to get a copy. Basically the hero in here is a grumpy goalie. And then the heroine, we have that sunshine heroine vibes. She also has a daughter who the hero kind of banters with and then eventually starts teaching hockey with. I just love their story so much. So I had to grab a copy of it. I was in a copy of Madam by Sarah Kate. This is of course the sixth and final book in her Salacious Play at Club series and this one is Eden's story who we've seen featured throughout the entire series. This one is FFM. I have read it. I liked it. It's not a favor in the series for me but I'm excited to have a copy of it. So next I have Before the Sunset by Laura Pavlov. This is book four in her Cottonwood Cove series and this one I had a fun time with. I love this entire series so so much and I'm just obsessed with the people covers. So basically in this one this is a friends to lovers, a fake relationship. The hero is an actor and the heroine is trying to get over an ex or try to win back her ex and so they decide to to a fake date and it's just so fun. I love this family so much. Next up is Twisted Secrets by Katie Robert. I was sent this one from the publisher. So basically this is her O'Malley series, but they have been renamed. They've been all retitled and they're getting new covers and being republished. I read this series like four or five years ago. It is one of the first Mafia series I read and my first reads are from Katie Robert. So I'm just excited that they're getting reprinted and I had a great time with this series. So yeah, here's this new one. 
Next up, I was sent from the publisher, Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. This is the newest edition because she has been picked up and is getting published now, like traditionally published. So this is that book. I have read this one, had a great time with it. This is one of my favorites from Jennifer Hartman. So I'm excited to have this gorgeous cover. Then my book of the month pick for October was Starling House by Alex E. Haro. I love this one. I actually had an audio arc of it. So I read it over the summer and had a great time with this one. If you love like kind of like mystery gothic vibes where the house is just as much of a character as the characters, then definitely check this one out. I had a great time with it. Very like atmospheric and gothic vibes. Next up is The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. I read this one in September and had a great time with it. Loved it. One of my favorite reads of the month. Basically, this is a single dad hero and a nanny romance. And it had a fun twist to it because the heroine used to have an OnlyFans account and the hero was like her number one supporter, biggest fan, but neither of them realize who one another is at first. So she always wore wigs and a mask when she was on camera and then he never had his camera on when they chatted. So neither of them knows who one another is and it's so good. Like the tension is amazing and I had a great time with this one. Like if you love single dad and nanny romances, I definitely recommend. And yeah, I just had to have a physical copy because I did the audio from the library and I loved it. <laughs> Step I found from the Embers by Ali Martinez at a used bookstore. So I had some trade credit and used that to get this one. I have read this one. I read it, I think earlier this year, possibly last year. And it's just like very emotional. Basically the hero and the heroine and their respective spouse they were all like friends and then a house fire happened and so the hero and the heroine lost both of their spouses and so now they are coming together through that grief they even live together and with their children from their respective spouses and try to get over and heal and grow together I had a good time with this one it's basically their romance of course of coming together through the grief and yeah I'm supposed to see Ali Martinez at a couple more signings that I have coming up so I wanted to grab this copy to get her to sign it Next is Home Run Proposal by Marin Moore. I love this one. This one is best friend's brother as well as baseball romance. It's college setting with some teach me lessons. I had a great time with this one. I was sent this copy from the author. So it came with a bunch of swag and like a whole PR box, which I have an unboxing of if you want to see. And I just had a great time with this one and loved it so much. I love the pink and I did transfer all of my little like tabby moments and highlights over to here, which I love doing. So yeah, there's this one. Next is Body Check by Tegan Hunter. So this is the first book part of her Seattle Serpent series. And I did read this one, had a great time. This is a new hockey romance kind of spinoff series that she has. And so I just love this like Seattle skyline on here. And I wanted this copy of it. So I got it. <laughs> Except these two books I grabbed from a recent Barnes and Noble trip. So first up is Crossed by Emily McIntyre. This is book five in her Never After series. This is basically a series where they are darker fairy tales where the villains get their HEA and they are just so much fun. And this one, is The Hunchback of Notre Dame inspired. It is a very, very dark, definitely check content warnings, but I had a great time with this one. If you love dark romances, I definitely recommend checking this one out. The next one is also by Emily McIntyre, but it's co-written with Sav R. Miller. So this is Be Still My Heart. This one is so good. I love this one on audio. So basically this is a romantic suspense. It's set in Maine. There are like some murders happening and the hero and heroine become involved in one another's lives. One of them is a detective and one of them is a possibly a suspect slash somebody that they're interested in to talk to. And that's that's how they meet and it kind of goes from there and I just had a great time with this one like very moody and atmospheric. Next up is One Last Shot by Nikki Castle. This is the fourth book, the most recent book in her fight game series. This one came out the very end of August and so I had a pre-order for it and it showed up in September. Love this whole series. Love Nikki Castle. These are MMA kind of fighter romances and so in here the hero is a broody MMA fighter and the heroine is a former ballerina and so they meet and it is just so good. Love this one. Definitely check it out. So next up, these two books, I was actually sent these for my birthday back in August from Monica from Pardon This Book Addict, which thank you so much, Monica. Again, these ones actually came in the day after I filmed my book haul in August. So they've been sitting waiting to be hauled in this video, but I am so excited to have these. So these are part of Elsie Silver's Gold Rush Ranch series. And I need to catch up on the series and continue on, but I love the people covers so, so much. And these were the last two I needed. So thanks again, Monica. Then this one was also a birthday gift that I got in August, which again, it came right after I hauled all the other books. So this is Secrets at Sunset by Juliet Cross and Zay from Witty Reads sent me this one and I am so excited to have it. This is a novella, which is a small town novella. It's brother's best friend. It is just so much fun and I loved it. So thank you so much again, Zay, for sending this to me. So excited to have a physical copy. And then next up, I traded myself to Her Ruthless Duke by Scarlett Scott. So basically, this is a Guardian and Ward historical romance. It is one of my top favorites from Scarlett Scott now, and I loved it. I had a great time with it. The banter is amazing. And so yeah, I had to have a physical copy for my shelves. 
And then next, this chunky boy right here is Pucking Around by Emily Rath. Even though it's a huge book, it is like extremely floppy, which I love. So this one I grabbed at Barnes & Noble recently too. They had some copies out on the shelf and I was like, ooh, I need it. I haven't finished it yet, but I wanted to have this one. Next up is The Tyrant Alpha's Rejected Mate by Casey Wells. This was my favorite read of September. I raved about it in my end of the month September wrap up, but basically this one is a werewolf, shifter, rejected mates trope. I ate this one up, loved it, and need to continue on in the series. I've read the first two books and I just love this one. Like it's so, so good where the heroes have to grovel so much and I just had a great time with it. So I needed to get a physical copy for my shelves. Next up, I was sent this from the publisher. So this is Hunt on Dark Water by Katie Robert. First of all, the gold on here, I am obsessed. Hopefully that shows up how it shines. It is so good. I love it so much. Like the pirate ship, this whole thing is just a total vibe and mood that I'm obsessed with. This one says it's the first fantasy romance in the Crimson Sails series. It says the heroine is a witch and the hero is a captain. Pirate set at sea. Like, yes, please. I kind of want to read this one immediately. Like if anybody's read this one, let me know. Next, I was sent from the publisher Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden. This one is super fun. It comes with a map as well for the book. I think this cover is stunning. I know this book was out before and then it got, I think, picked up traditionally. So it's been reprinted. So yeah, I've heard some mixed things about this one, but I'm excited to check it out as well. It's a fantasy romance. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this one. Next, I was sent Too Fast by Abby Millsaps from the author. And this one is just a fun time. Basically, this is sports romance, college. They're why choose as well. So it's one heroine and four heroes. This is book two in the series so you definitely have to continue on from book one because we're following the same group of characters but they're just like a fun time they all end on cliffhangers and they're just like entertaining and smutty and a good time next up is tempt our fate by kat singleton i was sent this one from the author and it came with all sorts of goodies in here which are trying to fall out on me right now <laughs> came with these gorgeous like overlays as well which hopefully those show up these gorgeous overlays to go with certain chapters. So yeah, I'm so thankful that the author sent me this one. I read an arc of it and loved it so much. It's so good. It's small town. It is kind of like hate to love vibes and just so fun. I love the banter in here. This is definitely my new favorite from Kat Singleton. Like she's just getting better and better with each book. So I'm so excited to have this one on my shelves. Next, I have Shadows of You by Katherine Cowles. This is, of course, a book four in her Lost and Found series that just came out in October. I was in this one from the author, obsessed with the like shine on the blue there. So good. I love this series so much and I'm so excited to have this one. So in this one, we have Small Town. We have a single mom heroine. We have a very like tortured, broody, broken hero and he has to protect her. There's some romantic suspense vibes, just like a good time. If you love romantic suspense by Katherine, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. Next up is Good Game by Madison Fox. I had to treat myself to this book. I loved it so, so much. One of my favorite reads of October. So this one is the author's debut. And at the time, only this like alternate edition was available to get, which it does come with with some fun art in here if I can find it let's see so it comes with some art for the couple it has this art print as well with the hero and his friends so basically this is a video game hero and he is a masked streamer so basically he wears a mask when he plays video games and streams so nobody knows who he is so we have like a hidden identity trope because he meets the heroine with his mask on and then he also meets her with it off and so she thinks she's falling for two different guys but of course they're the same person it's just so so good i loved it definitely a great debut like that doesn't read like a debut if that makes sense just so so good i'm so excited for the entire series and for madison to just be an author in general so yeah had to have this one so next up we'll get into the special editions that i've hauled recently so if you know me you know i love special editions they're one of my favorite things to collect for books we'll jump into them some of them are new ones like new book boxes and some are ones that i like tracked down that I wanted copies of for my collection. All right, so first up, this one, I believe it came out a year ago. So this is Help Me Remember by Corinne Michaels. And this is a special edition that Cover to Cover Book Box did, like I said, I think a year ago. And I was able to track it down for a very good price, like I got it at cost. It's one of my favorite books from Corinne Michaels, so I was always keeping an eye out for it. And I'm just so excited to have it. So it is the hardcover edition because they do hardcover as well as paperbacks. And I'll always take the hardcover first. So yeah, this is Help Me Remember by Corinne Michaels. Love the pink and the shiny gold it is signed and then I think they have just like very yeah just like very faint kind of flowery headers and chapters in here I am excited to have this one this is a brother's best friend amnesia romance and I love this one like it blew me out of the water I had such a good time with it earlier this summer so I'm so excited to have this special edition on my shelves now next is blood orange by Karina Halley this is part of the bookish box so I subscribed to them and so here is this a lovely one and with kind of like this print overlay they've been doing lately of the signatures and I just love like the interior of it the orange being bitten just so good it's kind of like her Dracula retelling so under here we have the white with the 
shiny orange and then we have this kind of print on the underside as well so you could have like a reversible dust jacket i think i'll keep it with this print it has the oranges on the sprayed edges and this is how some of the chapters look so it has like the darker images here and like that the bookish box they do take forever but their additions are always just really well done and so beautiful kind of connects to her other vampire series that i've read so yeah i need to continue on to this one now <laughs> shortcake by katana collins this was a hello lovely box trope of the month box so this one yeah it came with like a silver fox sticker so this one i believe is the age gap with the older hero and yeah i'm excited i'm always excited for that trope so i'm excited for a new one to check out so here is this one love the cute little strawberry in the back I was finally able to track down this beautiful edition of Two Fights by Nikki Castle. This is part of her fight game series. I think this one came out last year for Cover to Cover Book Box. And yeah, this is the second book in her fight game series that I've really loved following like MMA fighters. I'm excited to have this one. I love this whole series and I love Nikki Castle. I have, I think, most of her special editions. So I just needed to track down this one. Next up is Black Ties and White Lies by Kat Singleton. So this was part of the Fit Teacher Rachel box, the special editions that she does. And I just love her editions, love the quality. So I wanted to have this one. I have read this one by Kat Singleton. And so I'm excited to have it on my shelves. I just love the like art style and the formatting that she does in these. They are just so pretty. So I'm excited to have this one to add to my shelves. Next up, these are from the last chapter of Bookshop. So I just got this box in recently. This was the Hockey Romance box, which of course we know I love Hockey Romance around here. I was super excited for these first three. And then I will probably check out the last two anyways eventually. So let's go through them. So first up is Her Greatest Mistake. I've heard good things about this author and about this book. So I'm excited to check it out. That is the interior we have it signed so yeah we will see what this one's about i want to get into this one then we have neutral zone by tegan hunter this is part of her carolina comets series which i've had a great time with we have the cute little like hockey in there basically in this one the hero and the heroine they know one another in real life he is a hockey player and she works at like a bakery bake shop and she wants to open up her own bakery and she's also a cam girl on the side where they actually chat online and he of course knows it's her but she doesn't realize it's him so it has a little bit of hidden identity trope and yeah this one's just a fun one it's the last one in the Carolina Comet series. Then we have Weak Side by S.J. Silvis. I absolutely love this one. It's so much fun. Basically, this is a hockey romance set in college. And in here, the heroine is a dance major and the hero is a hockey player. The admissions office ends up mixing up the heroine's name, putting her last name as her first name. So they think she's a guy and they actually room her together with the hero like in their college dorms. So it's a mix up and they can't switch rooms. So it has like forced proximity. And it was just so much fun. I loved it so much. I'm so excited for more hockey romances from this author. So I was so excited to have this one. And I'm just like loving the pink like the ballet slippers and on the back we have the puck just so cute so these are the two from the box that i haven't read before so if you've read them let me know so first up is axel by samantha whiskey this one says it's part of her carolina reapers series again these are all hockey romances and this one i know it's an nhl hero and then this one is my lucky number 13 by piper rain i have never read this author but i constantly see their books about so let me know if you've read either of those two Next up, these three were part of the Hello Lovely kind of creepy, spooky box that they do every Halloween. First up is Mantras and Minotaurs by Ashley Bennett. This is definitely why I grabbed the box. So here is this one. And then the back, just so cute. Love those details. These two books, they're both sealed still. So hopefully you can see them all right. But this one is Lady Venom Takes a Mistress by Kat Blackthorn. I've never read this author or this book. I have Bitten by Death by Holly Roberts. Again, I never read this author before, but here is that cover. Hopefully it shows up and it's not too shiny, but I didn't unseal these ones yet. These next three were part of a small town book box from Beyond the Pages, which is a subscription box in Australia. So I love their editions so much. They're always so beautiful beautiful and have like shininess to them and of course I love these authors so I wanted to grab this one so first up is Always Mine by Laura Pavlov and they are just so beautiful they all came with art prints so that's what's sticking out of the book and then the additions they always have a color interior pages which is just so cool like love that so much and just all the cool like shiny details so yeah I had to have that one this one is Wrecked Palace from Catherine Cowles this is actually one of my favorites from Catherine Cowles and I had to have it so here is that super shiny again it came with like an art print and then the interior has gorgeous art as well so those chapter headers are in color and then one of the other ones as well just love these additions the, like shininess and the art just so so pretty and always so well done and then the last one that came with it is written in the scars by adriana Locke. i haven't read this one but i just love this like whole fall mood i usually don't like illustrated covers or like people on the covers i should say but this one like really works for me and i think it's just so beautiful especially with the gold there and like the very fall vibes again it has like an art print and then 
just like a very gorgeous fall small town is what it's giving me and here's one of the other like chapter headers as well so yeah just so stunning so excited to have this box next i have tied by carrie and cole this is from mystic box this year they did torn by carrie and cole which is the first book in this all torn up series and that was part of like their regular subscription box but they did an add-on this year for the second book in the series so i had to grab it because these are two of my favorite books by carrie and cole so here is this and we have the flower edges and then the back and then the interior is really pretty as well so we have the hero there and then we have the heroine chapter headers as well love mystic boxes editions and i'm so excited to have both of these now which i'll show a picture here of both of them together just so so pretty this one i got recently from bookish box so this is a crown of ivy and glass by Kara legrand and this one is so stunning obsessed with the metallic foil kind of like peachy sprayed edges and then the flowers on the back as well this does have art of the couple in here I know these are like fantasy romance, but I know nothing else about this one. So this is the naked version of the book, which has this gorgeous like rose gold foiling, just stunning. Like this alone, it makes me want to read this book. And then this is the reversible, like what could also be the dust jacket as well. So it is also stunning. Like I kind of love both editions, but I'll probably keep this one just because I love the metallicness of it. Next up, I subscribe to a Bell Book Box. So they did Jennifer Hartman recently, and these were the two books. So this is actually the Heart Song duet, which came out at the beginning of this year, which is one of my favorite reads of the year. This duet so much, so I'm so excited to have these editions. So the first book is An Optimist Guide to Heartbreak, and then the second book is A Pessimist Guide to Love. So very excited. Grumpy Sunshine vibes, and so good. So emotional. I love this duet so much. And here are the gorgeous, like, sprayed edges that are like metallic they're so beautiful bell book box of course is the sister company of mystic box and they always do an amazing job like their books are always just beautiful all right and then i have this nikki sloan eternal embers little slip cover here so here is the slip box and here as well they always have quotes on the slip case that have to do with the books in it these were two of the national neighborhood series books so let me get them out so we have the doctor which is the first book in the series and then we have the pool boy which is book two i read the entire series and love them so here are the backs as well this is for the doctor and then this is for the pool boy i just love the like kind of a subtle vibes on here like you can see we have like the guitar and the music notes on this one so yeah always excited to have more nikki sloan special editions and i am a dark and quirky subscriber as well so this was their recent summer book box so i am going to show off these they always do amazing gorgeous quality books first up is in a jam by kate canterbury this is my favorite in the box so i just love the pink and the gorgeous editions of the tulips we have the tulips on the edges as well and on the interior we have the back as well so it's kind of a marriage of convenience small town contemporary and it's so so good we have don't kiss the bride by carrie ann cole this, this is a marriage of convenience as well with age gap so there's the sprayed edges in the back kind of love this whole like bridal look it has going on this has like the veil situation and then this came with a novel notes kind of like printed a little print overlay oh yeah which i totally forgot these all came with like overlay art prints let me see if i can find this one here is that one for in a jam we have the alias by lena hendrick so here is that one a small town loved like wheat on the sprayed edges and that whole vibe here is the end of pages for this one a very steamy and the art print for here is there then fake empire by c w farnsworth i have heard some people love this one so i need to check out this author we have the black and kind of the darkness here love the chess pieces on the sprayed edges and the back cityscape there and then there is the art print scene for that one and then the best for last just kidding they're all great but this one is one of my new favorite all-time like special edition covers that i have so this is the mind up series by st abby this one was a special like edition from mystic box and i love it so basically this is five books in this bind up and it's just so good this is dark romance where the heroine is a serial killer and the hero is an fbi agent just so so good he's like track trying to track her down without knowing that she's the murderer definitely a great dark romance series so here is this gorgeous edition the back we have the sprayed edges and all the details on there as well there is this just so so pretty even the naked edition is stunning and i love it so so much i'm so excited to have this one on my shelves super fun as well like they have details throughout so basically this imagery like will get darker as the chapters go on if i can find an example so you can see it's like getting darker the apple is coming more corrupt 
and then like you know the apples like barely left there so I just love that detail throughout the entire book just so beautiful and I'm so excited to have this one all right so those are all the books that I hauled recently let me know in the comments if you have read any of these and liked them if you've hauled any of the same as me or maybe a recent book that you hauled what that was let me know let me know all the things if you haven't done so yet make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one